I'm going to talk about how do you copy a program from one computer to a new computer. Um, I'm right now on the old computer, and we want to copy all the data files from the old computer. The first thing we got to do is figure out where is the program on the computer. And the easiest way to do this is to right-click, use the right mouse button, on the desktop icon that runs your program, and select Properties down here at the bottom. This target location here and target, this is showing you the path on the computer to the program. And you can see it's on the C drive under the program files folder, which is under, and then under that is the performance trends folder, and then under that it is the port flow analyzer v3.5 folder, and then finally it's the executable program pfa.exe. So you may have to write this down, or you could copy this and paste it to Notepad or something to have this. But it's the program files and performance trends and port flow analyzer v3.5, and then the actual program. So let's look for this on our computer. I'm going to get out of here. You can do this through my computer. Or you can also do it through Windows Explorer. I, I prefer Windows Explorer. I think it gives you more information for finding things. To get to Windows Explorer, you're going to, again, right-click on Start and select Explore. And the advantage of Windows Explorer is it gives you a left side and a right side of the screen. First thing you want to do is, I'm here's my C drive, which it said it was located in, and I got this plus sign to the left of it. So I'm going to open up by clicking on the plus sign, everything under the C drive. And I'm looking for, I'm going to close this up, that's documents and settings. I'm going to look for program files. They're alphabetical, and there's program files. And I clicked on the plus sign that was to the left of it. See, I click on that, and it opens up everything that's inside program files. And now shifted to the right a little bit. And all these things are actually inside program files. So I'm going to go down through here looking for now performance trends. There's performance trends. Click on the plus sign to the left of it. And I'm going to go down through here. There's port flow analyzer. Now, what I want to do because I first want to make a backup copy of this. Get this off this old computer. I'm going to right-click on the Port Flow Analyzer folder and select Copy. And then I'm going to go, because I'm going to copy everything, um, which is takes more time than need be, but it, it makes it safe. I'm going to copy the entire Port Flow Analyzer file folder with all the contents. And I'm going to paste it to my memory space. It's removable disk G. And again, I'm going to right-click on that name. This time, I'm going to select Paste, P-A-S-T-E. And it says, because I've been doing this, uh, there's already a folder name like that. Do I want to do it? Yes, I do, and I want to do it to everything. And you can see here, it's starting the copy process from the computer to the memory space. And you can see it's going to say it's going to take quite a while. So I'm going to pause out of this so you guys don't have to look at all this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that I'm on the new computer. I've made a backup copy off the old computer, and now I'm on the new computer. I am going to assume that I have installed the new program on the new computer. So what am I going to do is, again, on the new computer, I'm going to right-click on the desktop icon on the new computer. Now, in this case, it's the same as the old one. Select Properties, so I know where it's stored on the new computer. Okay, it's the same place as before. And what I do now is, again, I right-click on Start and Explore. And what I will do is I'm going to go and find my memory stick first, because that's where it's got the old stuff. And I'm going to look through here, and there it is. There's my Port Flow Analyzer folder with all the stuff, everything, including the program stuff. And I'm going to select Copy. 
and we go up here and find where this program is based on where that properties of that desktop icon were. And it's set again, it was in program files. And then performance trends. But here's the kicker. I'm not going to paste this into the new port form analyzer that's on this computer. Because then I'll put port form analyzer underneath a port form analyzer inside it. And that's not what you want. You want to paste it to performance trends, one level up. Because we're saying put this port form analyzer into performance trends, which means it'll be in this list down here, which is exactly where you want it to be, port form analyzer. So let's do that. And I'm going to paste it there. And if you're doing it right, it should say it already contains a port flow analyzer because you are going to overwrite what you installed off your CD with this new information, with all this, all the stuff from your old computer. So I'm going to say, yep, that's what I want to do. And I'm going to say yes to all. Okay, I can't use it because I've been playing around here. Let me get turn this off. I was running Portflow Analyzer on this computer, and that's why it didn't let me do it. So now let me do it again. Paste on that. I click on it and then click on paste. Yes to all. Now it went very fast for me because I didn't make a complete copy. But now what I've done is on the new computer, I put all the old stuff. Now, in an old DOS computer of 15 years ago, that would have been enough by itself. You would never have had to install the program. However, with Windows, there's a lot more running the program than just what is in this folder. These folders inside Portfolio Analyzer and the program here, there's also what we call system files, and system files have to get registered. And that is why you must install the program off the CD or off the download off the website because it makes a the system files, puts the right system files where they're supposed to be. It registers them correctly. And it's just the way it is. It's a little more complicated in Windows than it was with old DOS stuff. So a lot of customers call up and say, I copied my program over, but it won't run. That's why. You've got to install it first. So now what we've done is we have installed on the new computer, copied everything from the old computer, all your data files, However, also the program file also, and overwritten the new installation on the new computer. The downside of that is the, um, the program on the new computer is the same version and everything as the old computer. And you may not want that. You may have done an update. You may want all the updated um, program features and stuff. So what you'd have to do in this case is you would have to reinstall on the new computer and uh, select to do just a refresh installation. And then should everything should be working for you. You may have to unlock it again, but all your data files will be there. Um, and, but if you're happy with the version that was on your old computer, you should be off and running right now. But that's how you do it, you, how you copy from one computer to another. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a new enough program, let's say like our port flow analyzer, and they're both, let's say, both new enough on the old and the new computer, you have these backup options under File, File, Backup Flow Tests to the G drive. Okay. I'm going to click on Cancel. Well, let's just... It already has a backup file. Um, do you want to click on it? Okay, do you want to replace the media with, no. Okay, I don't want to do that. Choose no to overwrite. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to overwrite the backup that's on the G drive with this new backup. Yes. Yeah. So this is what backup looks like. 
And what you do then is take this again to the old, I'm sorry, the new computer. We're backing up off the old. Take it to the new computer and do a restore on the new computer. And it'll ask you where you want to restore from. And you're going to say from the, it might be an F drive on the new computer. Okay, it's backed up. And let's say we're on the new computer now. You say file, restore from a backup, restore all backed up tests. Okay, it's going to give you a lot of warnings here about things that if you restore uh, a file from the old backup that happens to have the same file name as what's on the computer, you would erase what's on the new computer with that old data. Generally, this is not something to worry about, um, especially if you made a backup. Yeah, it says like it says here, it recommends you make a backup of your current test files on the new computer first. But if this is a new installation, you got nothing to worry about. There's no good data files there for you anyway. Do you want to continue with the restore process anyway? Yes. Okay. Do you want to restore things saved in the G drive? In this case, it's going to be yes. You click on no to pick a different drive, but you cancel that. So I'm going to say, yep, I want to do this from the G drive. Insert insert the mat the backed up media. On the G drive, then click OK. OK, do you want to continue? Yep. 26 times restored. And this is, do you want to make the program's current settings, current flow test file, preference settings, match this backup? This would be where you'd say yes if you're installing from an old computer to a new computer. Uh, if you just wanted to get the data files, not the preference settings and the master data and the flow bench files and stuff, then you'd say no. I'm going to say no because I know that. And it says if you have additional backup medium for this backup session, like the disk 2, like it all didn't fit on one memory stick, insert it and run this restore process again. So anyway, that's it's much easier when you have one of our newer programs that has this backup and restore feature. So that's how you transfer from one computer to another.